Gucci. <laughs> Want to add a little more of the supernatural to your Halloween haunt? The Wallabot is a 3D imaging sensor and personal radar. It can see through solid objects, sense movement in a room, and even determine a person's heart rate. In this weekend project developed by Sam Brown, we'll be using the Wallabot's ability to see through walls and doors to detect trick-or-treaters as they go door to door and give them an interactive spook show as they approach your home. For this project, you'll need the Wallabot, a Raspberry Pi, and some speakers. You'll add some RGB LED strips and basic electronic components to a jack-o'-lantern to give your unwanted guests the fright of their life. Begin by setting up the software to run the Raspberry Pi. Download a fresh copy of Raspbian and flash it to an SD card. Set up your Pi using Raspi Config. And then, give the US the full upgrade treatment. Next, we need to install the Wallabot API in its Python libraries. And then, we need to make a small change to the config file in the Raspberry Pi boot folder. With that done, shut down the Pi. The Pi doesn't provide enough power over its USB ports to support the Wallabot. So connect it to the Pi via a USB hub. Power the Pi back on and clone the Wallabot demo app from their Git repo and then run it. You should see an array of numbers representing the sensor output from the Wallabot. Move it around or wave your hands in front of the sensor. If they change, you know it's working. Follow the link below for detailed project instructions. Download and install the Eno library and finally clone the Git repo for the app. There's a handy sound check app to make sure your speakers are working. <laughs> and you can also check the functionality of the haunting app itself. But before we're done, we need to wire up the LED strips. Start by inserting the MOSFETs into the breadboard. Wire up the source pins for all three MOSFETs to a common rail on the breadboard. This will be our ground rail. Wire the drain pin to the color control leads of the LED strip. Green, red, then blue. Finally, connect the gate pins of the Pi's GPIO pins 33, 35, and 37, respectively. Connect the ground pin 39 to the ground rail we set up earlier. Finally, trim the barrel connector off the end of the power supply and strip the wires. Use a multimeter to determine the positive lead. Positive should power the 12 volt pin of the LED strip and ground should complete our ground rail. Now you're ready to set up your haunting. It's a good idea to mount the Raspberry Pi and breadboard to a mounting board to secure your wiring. Mount the Wallabot to the inside of your door and tuck the Raspberry Pi somewhere out of the way. Run the audio cable and LED strip to your jack-o'-lantern through a gap in the door. Boot the Pi, and you're all set. The Wallabot will detect trick-or-treaters as they approach your house, and will attempt to playfully frighten them away. It will do its best work in spooky houses and haunted forests. If it is struggling to detect mortal souls, make sure there isn't too much metal in your environment. We also want to take a moment to thank Wallabot for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Happy haunting! We'll see you in the next weekend project.